Everybody quiet down. All right, we good? All right, thank you guys all for uh, joining today. Um, before I get going, just want to uh, acknowledge uh, our front office team, Wes Wilcox, who's back there, uh, Phil Jabor, Paul Johnson, uh, on and on. I can name I can name them all. Um, all put in a ton of work, not just this past week, but um, but all year. And uh, you know, really thankful to them for for all they do. Um, you know, our, our framework heading into the deadline, I think, really two things. One has been our our mantra. I think since we got here, which is to be disciplined yet aggressive when the time comes. But, but this year with uh, with where we're at, we also want to be very protective of of the core group of guys um, that we've had this year that have gotten us to this point. Um, our starting lineup is one of the best, if not the best, in the NBA, um, and our bench units. Um, mixed in there have been fantastic as well. Uh, and our guys have shown they can compete with any team in the league. So uh, we've seen, I think, uh, our team improve uh, throughout the year. Um, and credit to Mike uh, and his entire coaching staff for uh, what they've done here in their first year, uh, the, their ability to get the most out of guys uh, and, and get them playing hard night in and night out has been huge. Um, and for all these reasons, you know, we want to continue to, to let this group grow and, and gel together um, and continue uh, on the improvement path that they've been set on. Um, we're also excited to welcome Kessler Edwards to Sacramento, a player we've been tracking uh, back all the way to his college days. Young, athletic, uh, big wing, extremely versatile. Uh, we're certainly looking forward to getting him into our system and, and seeing what he can do. Um, but at the end of the day, we, we, as always, did our due diligence and vetted, um, vetted the market. Uh, ultimately, uh, just made the one move. But, um, you know, we, we want to make sure that we're uh, letting this group and the continuity that, they, that they've shown continue to uh, shine through for the rest of the year. So uh, we know the job, as always, never done. Uh, we're confident in the team we built. And um, we'll, with that, I'll take questions. What's up, sir? Um, when you look at when you went into Thursday, did you have it in your mind that, uh, that you guys were probably going to leave things as is, or did you feel like some more things could have uh, potentially fallen through for you? The, the whole week is is intense, and um, so no, we certainly went in, um, you know, with uh, with our normal mindset and uh, had lots of conversations uh, the entire week, all the way up till uh, the final buzzer, and um, you know, it just this year. Uh, we ended up doing doing less than maybe we've done in the past, but um, you know, like I said, our, our one of one of the things we wanted to do was be protective of that group, and so um, you know, ultimately we, we explored a bunch of things, but none none met that threshold. I know being reactionary is never ideal, but seeing all the moves that were happening in the West, did that factor into your calculus at all? I think. Uh, I would say high level no. You know, we our group we do a great job of preparing heading into the deadline, just like we do during the draft, um, so that we know what our value is. Obviously, as things change uh, with our competitors, that can change that calculus. But we also don't want to be reactionary just to be reactionary. We'll never do that. Um, but um, we the, the West is always tough. Um, I've been in the West now for 16 seasons, and this is no different. Um, we think we're in a really good spot, but we know we got. 28 games left, and we're going to have to go and and uh, fight it out with some really good teams. But we're also confident in the group that has done that already for for 54 games. So, um, you know, we're we're all confident, um, and most importantly, the players are confident. Yeah, Monty. Defensively, you guys have not been great all season. You're still in the bottom, like six in the league. Um, is that something that you just felt like you couldn't address at the deadline without messing with the core of the team? I think defensively, uh, look, we know we need to be better. Um, I would say we need to be better offensively, too, and I think we can on both sides. Um, we certainly struggled at the start of the year. I think we've been better, um, you know, kind of in this middle part of the season. 
Uh, but we know we're going to need to be even better, especially with with uh, with what our schedule looks like go, going forward. But um, we think the the guys here have already shown the ability to do it. We need to be a little more consistent. But Mike and his staff have done a, a great job, and uh, I think we're you know we're 19th or 20th since December 1st, so better, but not certainly not good enough. Um, but I think there's been some some signs of improvement. We want to see that continue while our offense continues to to be where it's at in the top two to three of the league. Monty, you talked about wanting to let this group continue to gel. How much does it come into play, and how much do you worry about not wanting to impact negatively a locker room or team chemistry or team camaraderie and not wanting to break up something like that when making any kind of move? Yeah, I think it's it's part of the calculus, and um, you know we've we've turned over over half our roster in the last in the last year. So there's there's been a lot of change. We got new coaching staff, and we said I think at the beginning of the year. Um, we don't know exactly what it's going to be, and we want to sit and evaluate and see what's see what's going to happen. And obviously, there's been some ups and downs. We started 0 and 4. Uh, we've, we we really busted out after that. We've 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 fought through some tougher times, but um, I think consistently, this team has shown that they will answer the challenge, continue to improve. Um, so that doesn't mean that we didn't explore other things because there could be those things. But we have to balance doing a move against the continuity and just ultimately, um, you know, none of those came came past that point. Monty, how, how do you weigh the differences between evaluating your team in November, December, January versus post All-Star break and potentially a playoff run? Like, are you still in that evaluation mode of like, I want to see how this group does in, in this situation? Yeah, I would say we're always always evaluating, but less less of an evaluation period. We're, we're much more confident for sure uh, now that we're you know at this point in the season. Um, but um, there, there's always going to be new challenges, um, and yeah, our job's never done. It's it's definitely a twelve month a year uh, kind of thing these days. Um, and uh, you know now now our job is to to go and figure out how to get this group, um, you know, to continue to do what they've done and, and uh, you know, come out on, on top and meet our goal of, of making the playoffs here uh, by the end of the season. Hey, Monty, um, you kind of addressed it, but entering the season, there were a lot of new changes and nobody really knew what this team was going to be. Um, I'm just curious, was there a point in the season or maybe a specific game where you realized that this team was special? It's a good. That's a good question. Uh, I would probably point to the Utah game at home. Um, we, if I'm going to get the sequence right, uh, we're down one. De'Aaron missed a couple shots. We got a couple offensive rebounds, and I believe every all five guys touched it. It was completely unselfish, uh, scrappy. Uh, we had. Uh, by the way, I'll get back to this, but our our second All Star. Uh, missed a couple shots, but then fought for the rebound. Uh, Harrison got it, kicked it to Keegan, who immediately uh, swung it to Kevin, who knocked down about a 30-footer. Uh, and the place went crazy. But I think that just showed um, our guys aren't going to quit, um, and but they're also going to be unselfish. Uh, they're going to get get in the fight, and um, you know they're going to be confident that when the ball hits their hand, they're going to knock down the shot we need them to. So. Uh, if I had to point to one, I'd point to that. That was that was special. Um, but you know, there's been a lot of moments along the way. Yeah, Monty, throughout this decision-making process, what was on your mind is what would make the end of this season a successful year? Uh, again, we we try. We know what our long-term, you know, goal goals are. Certainly, in the short term, we want to make the playoffs. Longer term, uh, we want to become a contending team in the West. Um, but our focus is. What can we do tonight, tomorrow, and and forward? And that's what I think has gotten us to that point. And Mike um, has done a fantastic job of doing that. Um, you know, he if he's not the coach of the year at this point, I think uh, something's wrong. But to have our team where they are now, um, I believe we have something like the most blowout wins and the fewest blowout losses. And I think that shows our guys get down, they fight back. And some nights we don't have it, but. We're there trying to figure out a way. Um, there was maybe a Memphis game earlier this year where we just couldn't make a shot, but our defense held us in it. We, we almost pulled it out in the end. There's been other times where it's all clicking and um, you know teams have a hard time sticking with us on both ends. So um, you know, testament to to Mike and and what they've done. But um, I think if we continue that process, we're gonna we're gonna get to to where we need to get to, uh, not just this year, but going forward. 
do you anticipate looking at the buyout market at all to add depth, or do you think you're you're pretty much done with the roster? Like I said, twelve month twelve month of your job will continue to look at opportunities uh, that can that can help our team. But at the same time, um, not just our starting lineup, our depth has been great. Um, we've had. 10, 11, 12, 13 guys contribute. Um, and, uh, you know, shout out to our Stockton team, who uh, is first in the West right now. We've had uh, Keon Ellis and Mias Keita and others down there developing. So, you know, we're confident our roster top to bottom. But, of course, if there's opportunities to, to continue to help that present, we'll, we'll look at those. Yeah, Monty, um, getting Domas into the All-Star game had to be a huge thing for you specifically because of the way that the Tyrese Halliburton trade was looked at. But how much does having Fox also there sort of validate everything that happened in that situation where you not only got one all-star, but you got one that helped another guy get to the all-star game as well? Yeah, certainly not about uh, not about me. Uh, that's about Domas and, and what he's done for this team. And um, he's he's just been fantastic from from day one. And we run a ton of stuff through him on both ends. We rely on him heavily. Um, it's uh, it's it's a pleasure to watch him out there, um, and then De'Aaron, who's you know been, I guess the new award, whatever it is, the Jerry West Award. I mean, De'Aaron's been amazing down the stretch um, in in the clutch, um, and uh, I'm I'm just so happy for De'Aaron. I, I had all my remarks about how you know I believe we have two All Stars, even though it hasn't been recognized yet. I'm so happy it's been recognized, and um, you know those two guys, they're they're the engines that make us go, and um, you know it's. The, the pieces around them, uh, Harrison Barnes, who's, you know, certainly, I guess, our, our quote-unquote veteran leader. He's won a championship. Uh, Kevin uh, Keegan coming in as a rookie, on and on. Davion, Malik, uh, Trey, Chemezi, Rashawn, you know, Terrence Davis. We, we go on. These guys, I think, all feed off those two guys and uh, complement them very well. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy for the recognition that they've gotten. Let's go back to Sean. You, know, you look at all these <clears throat> – accomplishments that you have along the way you know it's like the first time since so many years uh, you get different franchise leaders you got two all-stars and so forth does this at all exceed maybe some of the expectations or thoughts that you might have had about this team before the season started has anything kind of um, surprised you or exceeded maybe some of the things that you thought this team could be I think uh, you you know you, you there's always some range of outcomes that can happen uh, at the start of the season um, and uh, you know I think um, our group felt really good about what we'd put out there and the opportunities that um, that the team had to to grow. We got a coach in Mike who you know we felt could be the the perfect coach and has proven that for this group. Um, we had what we thought could be two all stars, which has proven out. Um, and uh, we, we certainly wanted to add a lot of shooting around those guys and, and guys who can play hard and, and you know, be two-way guys. So um, I think a lot of the things that we thought could happen and maybe some, of, some folks were more or less confident in, in those things happening, um, a lot of those have borne out, and we've seen that. Um, but we're only two-thirds of the way through the season. I don't think they hand out playoff bursts at this point. So uh, we got, you know, one-third of the season to go, and – um, you know, we have to continue to answer those challenges like we've done. They might not hand out playoff berths at this point in the season, but owners hand out contract extensions. How, how happy were you to get that? And, and now how big is it for you to be on the same timeline as Mike Brown as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm first of all, obviously, uh, thank Vivek and, um, you know, his support and everything along the way. And this is just, uh, you know, I'm very happy the next step in our, uh, you know, in our relationship, my, my wife and, and kids were, you know, love Sacramento. So, uh, happy that we can, um, you know, continue to, to grow our family here. Um, but also, a, you know, mostly a testament to all the people that, uh, you know, help along the way. First and foremost, uh, you know, Wes Wilcox, who's here, he's run his own team. Uh, he should be running one, uh, very soon, if not, uh, should already have been there, um, but Phil Jabor, who you know runs our entire personnel, uh, he's going to be next in line. Paul Johnson already running our our G League team um, into first place. You know, I think there's going to be multiple folks in the very uh, near term that are are uh, you know I'm going to have to be negotiating with at future trade deadlines, and they'll know all my tricks and I'll know all theirs. But um, that group and the, and the rest of our front office. Um, you know, is is uh, the reason for all that, and 
yeah, we're, we're happy about, you know, what we got going, what, we, what we're going to try to finish this year and now, you know, continue to go on uh, in future years. Monty, can, back to the trade deadline, can you share any insight on the current market value of second round picks? I know you have a collection of them. We saw multiple deals with five second round picks being moved for, for players. Just what is any insight that you can share on what that value is of a second rounder today? Um, second rounders can be used in many different ways. Um, we've, we've drafted second rounders. We've, uh, traded them in, in different moves. Um, we have, uh, sent, send a second rounder last year for a rights owned player. Um, so, you know, I think they're, they're a currency this year. There were a lot of teams trying to improve. Um, there's a ton of parity across the league. And, um, you know, that's a market, right? When there's more buyers and sellers, maybe that, that inflates some of those prices. But um, all those things are, are part of the portfolio, whether we, um, you know, use them, use them in pick and trade, um, you know, in other ways. You know, we, we're always balancing those things. But, um, you know, just part of our portfolio that we try to do to get this team to where we need to. Monty, this is obviously a fan base that hasn't seen the playoffs in, in 16 years. When you're operating at the trade deadline, how, how do you balance the idea of maybe pushing all your chips in to maybe make a move that's more uh, win now, so to speak, versus, like you said, wanting to contend for, for the long run and, and years to come? Yeah, um, we've said it from day one, but making the playoffs is is very important and um, and is our, our stated short-term goal. Um, at the same time, we're, we're also, um, making sure that we're, that we're going to be here for a long time and, um, we're going to be in the playoffs. We're going to be competing. We're going to be growing. Um, but you know, we, I would say, um, we, we looked at moves that, that may help us in the short term and tr help solidify that at the same time, what this group's done. Um, you know, we have, we have guys that, uh, that have been in and out of the rotation that we think, um, you know, can, can help us. So I think we got, we have a lot of depth, um, already and, uh, guys that have proven they can help us. Um, so, you know, we're, we're happy about that group. And, and like we said, the, the, co the, the continuity of the group is something that we haven't had as much of. We've had a lot of turnover lately and, you know, now that we've had the, the success there, we think that's, that can be a big part of our stretch run as well. Yeah, Monty, heading into your setting, second contract in not too long, how do you feel like you've grown as an individual and a general manager since when you first took this job? I'm way less nervous at press conferences. Um, so, uh, which I don't know. I hope that's a good thing. Um, although the first press conference, there was no folks there with COVID. Uh, so maybe that helped. But, um, no, I think we're – look, we've, we've had a lot of – of change in, in my time here. Um, and, uh, roster, uh, coaching staff, even, you know, front office performance staff, but we do feel like we're in a really good place. Um, I try to surround myself with really good people and, um, listen to them. And, uh, I think that's gotten to, gotten us to where we are. I'm going to continue to do that. And, uh, like I said, we're, we're going to, I hope the next step for us is, uh, a, the sign of a really good organization is when your folks continue to get, uh, bigger and better jobs elsewhere. And then the next challenge for us is going to be how to replace those folks and keep this thing going. But, um, you know, that's going to be a good problem to have. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to, to find people that, that help me and, um, you know, make me look better. So. Monty, when you look at the group that you have now versus the years in the past, what sticks out to you the most on the reason you guys are having this recent success? I don't think it's any, any one thing. Um, and, uh, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to diagnose, you know, how all those things are, but really, I think it's the combination of, um, like I said, Mike, who should be coach of the year, the, the culture he's helping build, um, you know, the culture he's, he's really built and continues to, um, you know, new players joining old players. So we've had De'Aaron and Harrison and Rashawn here, uh, since I started by adding Domas and Kevin and, and on and on down the line, um, those guys, how they've complimented each other. Um, and, uh, you know, and just those guys building off, off of the, each other's success and, and building that confidence that they can do it. And I think every, every game we play, every win we have, uh, continues to build that the, the belief in that group is growing. And, um, you know, I think it's, it's not just one thing. 
Um, and it's, it's the combination of all of them. And, and again, that's a big reason that, that we're, uh, we're happy with, with where the group is and we're going to let them continue to grow here. Hello. Uh, if I can sneak in really quick, Harrison Barnes, uh, such an important part of this team going into an off season where uh, the future is is undecided. How do you weigh the decision of trying to maximize value at the trade deadline versus believing that you'll tackle that or cross that bridge when you come to it? Yeah, just say Harrison is obviously a huge part of what we're doing. Um, Harrison uh, can play multiple positions, multiple. Um, you know, guard different guard different guys. Uh, coach puts him on a lot. He's a huge part of our team, and um, you know, not just on the court but off the court. You know, with his championship pedigree, the ultimate professional. Um, you know, we, we all know the value Harrison has to us, and uh, we're ha we're happy he's here. All right, thank you guys. Good. Thank Thanks, you. guys. <clears throat>